I've been wanting to review and watch this movie for over a month now because I'm a huge Del Toro fan and finally came back to my theater just for one single day and I had to go. So guys, I finally saw Crimson Peak. Crimson Peak is a horror movie directed by Guillermo del Toro and starring Mia Wasikowska, Tom Middleston, Jessica Chastain and Charlie Hannum. When this movie first came out a month ago, it wasn't getting all that great receptions because a lot of people were disappointed, mainly because of a single, simple reason, the horrible marketing. Because this movie is marketed as a horror movie, but it's actually more of a gothic romance. It does feature some horror elements, mostly some gore and ghosts, but other than that, it's a very weird movie to describe, but at the same time I loved it. I'm a huge Del Toro fan and this is one of my favorite movies of his. It was a really, really enjoyable movie, really interesting, incredibly well acted and I loved it. The story is about Mia Wasikowska's character and how she falls in love and marries Tom Middleston, who is a lord in England. And she goes to live in his house and weird things start to happen. Mostly because Jessica Chastain, who plays the sister of Tom Middleston, is very very creepy throughout the entire movie. She is easily one of the best parts of the movie because of how really weird she acts throughout the entire picture and I loved the premise of this movie because we've seen it already. A girl marries someone, she goes to a haunted house and there are ghosts and weird things happening but like with most Del Toro movies it flirts with the horror elements, but he never does a horror movie. And this one reminded me a lot of The Devil's Backbone, if you've seen it. There are some similarities also, but they were pretty similar in the sense that there are ghosts, yeah, but they're not the scary part of it. You have to be more afraid of humans. And the movie has some of the best costumes and sets I've seen in a long time and also practical effects all around. Some people were complaining about the ghosts because they were CGI. If you actually look behind the scenes, they were not CGI, they were only enhanced by CGI, but they were mostly practicals. They were actors with makeup inside costumes, with some green screen effects used to take away the all bits of their faces or their fingers, but they were amazing to look at. They were not scary, but they were just beautiful. You were like, oh, wow. That's a cool design, because that's what Del Toro does best, amazing designs for monsters and ghosts. And the movie is also really damn violent. There are only a handful of scenes that contain violence, but if you're squeamish, you might want to turn your head away as Way Saw It With did, because it's a pretty intense movie in some of these scenes. But nonetheless, it's really entertaining and it's really interesting. The story is compelling and the characters are fantastic. And my favorite one, personally, while I did enjoy Charlie Hannam, it was pretty good in the movie, but Tom Hiddleston steals the show for me. He was a very tormented soul. And just by looking at him, you could tell who he was, how he was acting, how he was talking to his wife and to his sister. And uh, there are also some twists uh, that are not really twists. For example, if you've seen the movie, you know what I mean. There is something that happens that many thought, oh well, we already knew that. And, but they aren't actually selling it as a plot twist because you do understand what is happening between two characters in the movie. And that's one of the many strengths of the movie. It thinks of you as an intelligent human being. It doesn't have to spell out some of the things that happen. If you are being careful while watching the movie, you can get many hints from some things that the characters do, something that's written on a piece of paper, and that's really amazing. And uh, I also really, really love the soundtrack for this movie. It's amazing, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, as with most soundtracks of the Toro movies. And uh, overall, I think that you might enjoy this movie. I loved it, as you can see right now from the score. It's one of my favorite movies of the year, easily in my top five. 
but some people are hating the movie, some people are finding it boring, some people are finding it way too violent, which is pretty weird in my opinion. And uh, I don't know, it really depends on the person, because me, I was usually, usually surprised by this movie, especially because of all the bad reputation that it garnered recently. But in my opinion, it's the best horror movie of the year. Yes, I do like it more than It Follows, and it's a very, very, very great adult horror movie, a great romance, a great gothic horror, and uh, I don't know, I just love it. And the two hours, they went way too fast, way too fast for me. When the movie was over, I was like, already? It's already been two hours? Oh, yeah! Wow. Anyway guys, if you seen Crimson Peak, do you like Del Toro movies? Tell me in the comments below your favorite Del Toro movie and what you thought of this one. So guys, thanks for watching, remember to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.